Mark Arlene Z. Damned 1970s, 50 years ago, a, an agreement was entered into between the Graces River, Frio Water, Graces, Frio, Sabinal River Water Conservation District, the city of Uvalde, Uvalde County Commissioner's Court, uh, the Edwards Aquifer Authority, and the United States government to the Soil and Water Conservation to create four earthen dams north of Uvalde for the purpose of preventing flooding within the city of Uvalde and also to provide recharge to the Edwards Aquifer, which is a major water source for not only the Uvalde County, but for portions of Medina County, Bear County, Colmel County, and Hayes County. 1973, 72 in that era, I'm not exactly sure of the date. The agreement was signed by then Uvalde Mayor Pete Knowles and then Uvalde County Judge Leo Darden. The agreement was that the county would acquire, operate, and maintain easements and easements that we needed to construct emergency spillways for the earthen dams that were proposed for the northern part of the just talked to you about the city. The city was responsible for the same easements as it passed through the city as the channelizations that were put in passed through the city of Valley. And then the county was just picked up pick up the easements on the south side. That was all done. Those agreements are still in effect today. And they provide that the county maintain and operate and own those. I should say own because you can't maintain and operate, construct, maintain, and operate those easements for the spillway. That's done today. We today inspect those dams on an annual basis. We insure those dams using county funds. We insure those dams. And we spray and maintain the vegetation on those dams and in those buildings. Now, we still have that responsibility today. It's been in the course for well over 18 years. Mr. Dawson, anything you want to add to from the legal perspective? Mr. Spillway? Yes, sir. Uh, I don't really have anything to add to the merits. My mind was in place. Certainly, certainly it's something the county can enter into when we're over here to do those types of projects. Comments? Mm -hmm. I'll allow you to have a comment, yes, sir. If they, and I, I'm, not, I'm not saying what you said is not true at all. But on all the information that I've put up on all these dams, why would that not so much if the others? Talk about, I'm sorry, you had to speak up. Says, uh, the other says government owned, government controlled. These say private. It doesn't say Yes, they're on private property, yes, sir. The dams are on private property. But then, that, that's correct. Then why can't the public drive up and look at it? Because they're on private property. <laughs> uh -huh. that, that's, the, that's the way they were constructed. That's the way the agreement read in 1972, 3, 4, whenever it was. 71. I'm sorry? 71. 71. So you're familiar with the Leon River project. Yeah. Right. So it's in, it's in effect. And you know they're on private property. They are. There's no question about that. But they are built to protect the citizens of Uvalde County for flooding, which they have. It has. They work perfectly. Now, the fourth one was never built. The one that was proposed for the Kennedy Ranch, it was never built. On the west, on the east side of Highway 83. There was 
there's one proposal mm -hmm. there is there. But as an introduction is alluded, as far as maintaining them uh, through interlocal agreements, in kind exchange, is commercial. To, to be clear, guys, the county does not own them. No, the county does not own the dam. Their own private property. So we only have an easement? We only have an easement. We only have an easement. And we have a responsibility of maintaining that spillway, those spillways, which they, there is a spillway on the dam number two, no, three. There is a spillway. Mm -hmm. That's the one that's partially on the Willingham and partially on the ground. Okay, anything else? 